Hi friends, today we will discuss about data integrity. What is the data integrity and why is so important and what are the breaches that leads to data integrity problems and how to mitigate and avoid the data integrity problems and breaches to comply with the regulatory standards and requirements. Now let's start. What is data integrity? Data and integrity. What is a data? Data is nothing but the facts and statistics collected together during manufacturing for a reference or analysis. That may be any variable, numerical or alphabet or any form of symbol that we collected during the manufacturing may be generated by a computer system or a human. And what is integrity? Integrity is nothing but the quality of being honest and having a strong moral principles, the state of being whole and undivided, holiness, uniqueness. So in the year of 2016, MHRA released one definition for the data integrity. What is that? The data must be complete, consistent and accurate throughout the data life cycle. <coughs> now discuss about why it is so important. You see, any of the regulatory agency or a manufacturing firm, they will rely mainly on the data generated during the manufacturing of a drug to ensure the drug quality. Suppose the generated data is not reliable or not accurate, how can a firm or a company can ensure the safety and the quality of the product for the human life? And the regulatory agencies always mainly focusing on the trusting the firm when they are not watching us. It's nothing but what? The regulatory agency, client, customer, how they will give orders to us based on their periodic inspections and audits. During that audit, suppose they find any gap, they will say this firm this one gap is equivalent to the 3000, 4000 gaps, then the trust will be broken. And again, you see, the auditing activity is nothing but it's a collection of samples. It's a simply sampling activity. You see, we are manufacturing number of products from hundreds of kgs to thousands of kg. Suppose we manufactured a lot of thousand kg. You see the beauty. We are collecting a small quantity of sample, 10 gram, 20 gram, 30 gram, and we are testing in laboratory. If it is passing and meeting the acceptance criteria, we are saying that this my entire lot is complying with the predefined acceptance criteria. We are saying that my entire lot is a meeting the specification limit. So like that, the audit also is a sampling activity. During the periodical audit, once in a three year, once in a five year, once in a two year, based on their uh, schedule, they are coming to the facility and they are auditing. So for their are any gap, they will say that uh, whenever we are not here, uh, also they are following the, all the aspects, they are maintaining the quality and uh, safety and efficacy of the drugs by their documentation, by their manufacturing process. So in the diet, uh, they will find any gaps, uh, then they will consider as when we are not here, they are there, there may be number of errors are there, number of gaps are in the manufacturing. Then what will happen? The trust will be broken between the manufacturer and a regulatory agency, manufacturer and a client or customer. The main funda you see for a business is a trust between the customer and a manufacturer. Once the trust was broken, it is very costly and time consumable task to regain that trust again. Understood? Huh? So, the regulatory agency or client or customer, they are not responsible for our product's quality. They are not our quality organizations. It is our responsibility to be act as a ethical company and maintain the quality of the drugs, safety and efficacy for the human life. So this data integrity is a requirement, regulatory requirement, business requirement and it's our primary responsibility. 
to follow the data entity principles and data entity norms to have the good relationship between the agency and the manufacturing side. So I hope you all understand my today's session. We will discuss about uh, this data entity breaches and uh, how to mitigate the data entity problems to meet the regulatory requirements tomorrow in the next session. Uh, please subscribe my channel and uh, click on bell icon. If you like my video, share to your colleagues and friends and uh, please don't forget to write your comments in the comments column. I will make a better videos in future based on your comments and I will make a number of videos to you in a simple manner, simple understanding manner. So thanks, thank you all for supporting me. Please watch my videos. Thank you.